What is your relationship with Saquon Barkley right now, Joe? Yeah, relationship's good. Again, we uh, when we started negotiations, we actually uh, started during the bye week, and you know, I brought him up to my office and just said, "Hey, you know, you've been in the league for five years. You really haven't been through this. This is the business part of it, and that's exactly what it is. This is business. None of it is personal, and you just have to understand." Um, this is something you haven't been through and just always understand it's business and not personal. So um, anytime we talk throughout the process over the nine and a half months, um, you know, I would remind him of that. Remember this and he he understood it. He's very mature. He's a great teammate. Uh, We're happy he's here. We have a good relationship. And again, we, we worked hard both sides, try to get something done and we just couldn't, you know, find common ground in terms of a landing spot. And that's okay. You know, there's a lot of time deals don't get done, but our relationship's good. He's came in, he's been a pro, uh, he wasn't this, here this spring, which is, you know, the, that's an optional time for the players. And he came in in outstanding shape, and he looked very good out there. Well, I'm sure you're aware of the national conversation around running backs getting paid. You're just, you and uh, Saquon were just one general manager and terrific running back pairing uh, of many that seems to be at odds or in a standoff. And obviously your standoff is complete at the moment in time. But uh, what is your philosophy on paying running backs and the general sense of it in the NFL right now, Joe? Yeah, and every team is different. You know, 31 other teams have their process. We, we have our process, and we came up with, you know, we, we, we did a lot of deals this offseason, and, and, you know, we're confident in, you know, our process and how we come up with, you know, player contracts and values. And, and 31 other teams have different ways they do it. And then you got the agencies, you know, the agents of the players, they, they have their process and each agency is different. Um, whether it's rock nation, CAA athletes first, whoever you're dealing with, they have their different process, how they come to uh, values on players. So, um, you know, it's a diverse group of thought in terms of, you know, values on certain players. And again, we, we went through the process with Saquon and, you know, again, I said at my press conference, we were at peace and um, we just couldn't come to common ground and, and bridge the gap in our differences. And, you know, I can't really speak on the rest of the league and, and what they're doing. But, you know, again, I'm, I'm confident in our process and, you know, how we come up with those comps. Okay, and just a couple more questions on this because obviously there's more going on with your team than just your running back. Joe Shane, GM here on the Rich Eisen Show. Just from my seat, and uh, I've said it, so I'll say it to you now that you're on the phone here with me, is I don't, I don't understand with somebody of his stature and his – his good nature and everything that he does for the team, you know, if it's just a couple million dollars here and there, and I know it's not my money and I know I'm not in charge of a cap, but I, I, I just don't understand what, what a couple of million dollars might, might mean. Was it, were you that close Joe? And this, yeah, no, I mean, that's, that's funny to say a couple million dollars. We, you know, I've been in this situation before where a player says that what's it, what's a couple million dollars, you know, it means more to me than to the franchise. What's it, you know, you got this big cap number and then, um, you know, say fast forward a month later and there's a player that we'd like to sign that's $2 million and we can't. So, you know, every dollar you give somebody, you can't give it somebody else. And, and that's not, you know, that's not necessarily the case here, but um, you do have to operate under a salary cap. I've said it before. I wish we didn't and you could pay everybody. That would be, that would be awesome. But uh, there's different rules that we have to operate under and, you know, you're, you're, it's not just about one player. You're trying to build a team with, with 53 and, you know, trying to manage that the best way you can. And then just uh, with, with you and, and Saquon uh, about moving forward here again, what we're, did you, did you see when he was on a podcast, I guess uh, the week uh, in which uh, this all went down, it was recorded uh, days before. And he was wondering if, uh, if he's just not show up and hold out. And it just seems so out of character for him. And I'm just wondering what you, as somebody who is, in fact, in the business deal, seeing how personal he's taking it, how you took that, Joe Shane, that podcast. Yeah, that, that's a great question. And I, I, didn't watch, I didn't watch the whole thing. I saw snippets of it um, from a couple of people. But really, it, you know, this has been a long process, and it's, you know, a lot of people have their opinions on the running back market, Saquon, myself, the organization, and – you know, what I found was most helpful is just tune out the outside noise. And we had to do what's best for the organization. And I have a, I have a talented staff, uh, personnel staff, football administration staff. And you just tune out the, the outside noise. And, and that's why I didn't listen to the entire podcast. Because, again, these things can get emotional, you know, as long as they went on. And it's, it's personal in terms of what he wants to, you know, in terms of how he wants to do what's best for his family. And, you know, I understand that. So, um, you know, I didn't watch it and I kind of tuned out a lot of the outside noise and the rumors on, you know, what was offered, what wasn't offered. 
Um, cause we knew the truth, you know, Saquon and I both went through it for the nine and a half months and his representatives. And, um, we knew what offers were out there. We knew, um, where we moved to, we knew what, what they wanted. And, you know, again, just for me, it was tuning out the outside noise and sticking with, you know, my conviction. Catch the Rich Eisen show every single day on the Roku channel, 12 to three Eastern for free.